Well, only on 12 News, it's advertised as a cheap, innovative solution to our warming planet. And there's no doubt that solutions are needed. According to the World Meteorological Organization, each decade since the 1980s has been warmer than the previous one. The last seven years have been the hottest ever recorded on Earth. Arizona is the fourth fastest warming state in the country, and Phoenix is the second fastest warming city. Tonight, Team 12's Joe Dana introduces us to a scientist who's dedicating his life to a planet cooling theory based on mirrors. And as Joe explains, it sounds like science fiction. The idea is known as geoengineering, and it can seem like science fiction. It's using technology to manipulate the climate. Scientists don't take it lightly, but many say it will be necessary in the future. I was trained in just solving uh, puzzles and it seems like uh, uh, climate change in the end is just uh, another puzzle. Ye Tao is an MIT and Harvard trained scientist so determined to solve the climate change puzzle, he left the prospect of a lucrative career and is spending his time and his own money for a nonprofit he formed called MIR. It's a calling, I think it's a risk, very basic ethical decision. Any solution to cool the earth must be cheap, durable, and accessible worldwide. Tao's theory is based on a relatively very inexpensive material, mirrors and polymer reflective surfaces, to cool local spaces like homes and farms, and eventually the globe. It would be nice if uh, you know, climate change could be tackled from the ground up rather than top down uh, through uh, corporate control. It's based on a simple idea. Sunlight converts into heat after it hits an object. But if it hits a mirror, the light photons bounce back into space with 70 to 80 percent efficiency. The result creates spatial cooling of an area. Applying the theory to, say, a lettuce field in southern Arizona, rectangular mirrors mounted above the ground and strategically located would cool the soil and surrounding air, preventing water evaporation. Tao calls it a way to short circuit the greenhouse effect. And so if we can basically protect the productivity of agricultural land, and at the same time, do this a global energy rebalancing, that would be an ideal outcome. Reflective technology is already used to counter the heat island effect. The city of Phoenix is covering streets with reflective paint. The idea behind MIR is to manufacture reflective surfaces on a much broader scale. The mirrors are easily configured into arrays that will last for decades. Volunteers worldwide are conducting experiments in farms, and on homes using reflective shingles. And so we are in a phase uh, where uh, we'll be expanding rather quickly uh, over the next year or two as uh, uh, the large field experiments get more established. The vision is that in the coming decades, mirrors are commonplace worldwide, enough of them to offset the heat caused by greenhouse gases. It may sound far-fetched, but the fact is many scientists believe creative, scalable solutions will be needed if the world has a chance to avoid catastrophic global warming. Right now, Tao has about 30 volunteers and six universities contributing to his research around the globe. You can learn more about this story right now at 12news.com. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, interesting, uh, interesting idea.